let's just get right into it. You know, Lewis, we're going to start with green was the color. And it's, you know, it's us live, which is a fave of yours, we've heard. So I'm going to quickly check my tuning. Oh, situation. wow. He's got the green. Oh, I'm excited. I love that. It's like a Kelly green. Beautiful. <laughs> But you know, it's poetry, and it probably has nothing to do with the color green <laughs> or the word color. <laughs> but we love it. We're excited for it. Get some literal green in there. All right, so this is Green Was the Color. Two, right. three, four. <laughs> So I almost want to ask what the song is about, but then I, I kind of like not knowing. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Let's, I mean, it's open to interpretation, including your response right now. But it came from, <laughs> I guess, you know, it, it came out of, I guess this was a couple of summers ago, I think for writing for the two of us, we'll have different melodies or lyrics or even just feelings that will occur over different periods of time. And then songs will sort of, being twins maybe too, this like collective memory, songs will kind of coalesce mm. at a certain point. So green was the color like, different fragments of it were kind of traveling with us over a few years yeah. and part of those fragments was like a series of dreams that we each had and um i did actually have a dream in which um there was someone painting with with the green and blue kind of colors but mm -hmm. those colors actually too um were both a little bit synesthetic with music and like blue and green are also very special to us um bryce we're both classical musicians kind of originally, and Bryce yes. has always said that playing Mozart has felt like this deep blue. Um, so like the colors have kind of become integrated, but I don't know, I think the colors too that we feel when we're improvising, like this song came out of dreams and then a lot of improvisation, so. Awesome. <laughs> we'll have to do another session where it's just that song for a half an hour. Yes. We'll just, just loop it. That would that would be interesting. You know, like what the art? Yeah. You know, just yeah. yeah I mean, I'm I'm really into uh, oh, just the layer of things, right. and and peeling away the layers and getting to sort of like like that original, and then also just putting more layers on, knowing yes. that kernel is there. Not right. times that's an idea or where it comes from, but anyway, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. What did you say? I think you said glass onion or yeah, something. Yeah, glass we were messaging about this session. Yeah, yeah, that's an old, uh, I mean, I think it's an old phrase. I sort of connected to George Harrison, too, for some reason. Okay. But, uh, you know, looking through the glass onion, sort of like just layers, 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 layers. But when you have the sort of consciousness of it, uh, or maybe if you grow the onion, then, right. you can, then you can see the whole thing. You see, right. you can see all the layers. Clarity. Beyond the layers. Get a, we'll get more continuous with what we're doing. We well, we'll we'll let it emerge what's going to happen musically tonight. Yeah. But, um, That's fine. Let me uh, get in tune here. is called Jeweler's Row.
Lewis, how's the um, the balance coming through? I know we talked about this earlier, but how'd that come yeah. through for you? It's good. It's good. Awesome. Lovely. Awesome. Um, we're going to switch I, it up. I, love, I, I can hear the voices are so clear. And that's, that's great. Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> this good. is so lovely. It's really, um, I'm finding too, I don't know if you feel this way, watching you paint too, it's adding a whole other layer to just the experience and the emotions of the song. It's really, Definitely. really, really lovely. Wow. <laughs> that makes me, uh, that makes me part of the story. Yes. yes. I end, we just go right into the 